Los Angeles, Texas, the United Kingdom. These three places are home to some of the most terrifying UFO hotspots in the world. UFO hotspot means a place where people see a lot of UFOs and have a lot of alien encounters. But over the years, we have thousands upon thousands of sightings. So something's going on in our skies. Hotspots are locations where people are constantly reminded we are not alone. And they are places where people often live with an ever-present fear. What makes a UFO hotspot? Is there a pattern to where they occur? And if there is, what danger does it pose to humanity? Tonight, we reveal the world's greatest UFO hotspots on Unsealed Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Los Angeles is a major UFO hotspot. The activity here is constant and seems to be escalating. Los Angeles, California, January 21st, 2013. The International Business Times prints the unsettling story of a recent UFO sighting over the San Fernando Valley. A man is taking photos in his backyard when he sees a police helicopter flying overhead. He quickly adjusts his camera lens and takes a picture. Later, when reviewing his photos, he notices a tiny object high in the distance above the helicopter. Expert analysis of the photo reveals it to be a textbook example of a flying saucer. For decades, citizens of the Los Angeles area have reported an astonishing number of UFO sightings, higher than any other city in the U.S. 1992, Topanga Canyon, Los Angeles County. Sometime after midnight, the police receive a frantic call from a driver and his girlfriend on the Pacific Coast Highway. He claims that a beam of light appeared from the sky and surrounded his car, pulling the vehicle into the air. After a few moments, the light vanishes and the car drops back to earth, leaving the couple frightened and shaken. So Tenga Canyon is a small community and it's a large park area. And on July 14th, 1992, the skies must have opened up or something some sort of portal, I don't know, but hundreds of UFOs were seen. I mean, to this day, I've talked to more than 20 separate adult witnesses who have confirmed the sighting on just that one evening alone. Why is Los Angeles a magnet for alien activity in North America? Many UFO experts trace the Los Angeles alien phenomenon back to an often forgotten chapter of the Second World War. Unsealed case file, the Battle of Los Angeles. February 24th, 1942. America has just entered the war. An unidentified aircraft suddenly appears in the night sky over Los Angeles. Fearing a Japanese attack, anti-aircraft batteries open fire. The battle over Los Angeles was an event in 1942 in which multiple witnesses observed an unidentified craft over LA. The military quickly went into action. They tried to figure out what the object was. They lit it up with their spotlights. They couldn't figure it out. Witnesses watch in horror as the US Army fires over a thousand rounds at the hovering UFO. The battle of Los Angeles is such an important case because as the military engaged this object, fired rounds at it, they weren't able to touch it. As quickly as the UFO appeared, it vanishes without a trace. The infamous incident is known as the Battle of Los Angeles. The following morning, Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox claims it was a false alarm, and the UFO was, in fact, a weather balloon. 
The Army's explanation was that it was a weather balloon. And of course, if you're firing that many artillery shells at a weather balloon and you can't bring it down, you've got a problem with your defense. Is it possible that a highly trained American defense force launched an all-out assault on a harmless weather balloon? Even more alarming, if this were a genuine UFO, could the aliens have interpreted this unprovoked aggression as an act of war? Up next, an entire state in America has been a focal point of UFO activity for decades. We'll reveal where and possibly why on Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Los Angeles, California has been the site of countless documented alien encounters. But it isn't America's only UFO hotspot. The entire state of Texas has seen hundreds of UFO incidents dating as far back as the 19th century. I really do think that there is some sort of a base down there just because of the huge number of parts. This is a major flat area, a hot spot. Aurora, Texas, 1897. A UFO crashes into a windmill, as reported by the Dallas Morning News. Locals recover an alien body and bury it with Christian rites in Aurora Cemetery. A plaque at the cemetery identifies the alien burial to this day. Lubbock, 1951. Three professors from Texas Tech photograph a fleet of UFOs. The incident becomes known as the Lubbock Lights. Stephenville, 2008. Over 30 witnesses, including law enforcement, see a mile-wide UFO fly overhead in the middle of the day. The incident receives worldwide media coverage. Why is the Lone Star State the focus of so much alien attention? The search for answers begins 60 miles northeast of the Mexican border in the small town of Marfa, Texas. For over a century, residents have reported eerie, ghost-like lights in the sky. Many believe the lights to be of extraterrestrial origin. Unsealed case file, Marfa, Texas. 1957, Coronet Magazine publishes a report on the Marfa Lights phenomenon, describing them as brightly glowing basketball-sized spheres floating above the ground. Scientists are quick to dismiss the phenomena as everyday automobile lights appearing to float due to atmospheric reflections. But this explanation is met with skepticism in the UFO community for one simple reason. The Marfa lights occur in a region called the Mitchell Flat, an area known for its rugged terrain and private property. Ufologists contend that car traffic could never be the source of its enigmatic lights. Why are authorities so quick to dismiss the Marfa lights as an atmospheric anomaly? And is there a price to be paid for covering up the heavy presence of aliens in Texas skies? As it turns out, there is. Dayton, Texas, 1980. Betty Cash and Vicki Landrum are driving along the highway when suddenly their car is enveloped in an intense beam of light emanating from the night sky. Above them is a UFO. Out of nowhere, a fleet of combat helicopters appear and surround the UFO, but it vanishes in an instant. Cash and Landrum suffer severe burns from the UFO's beam, commonly associated with exposure to high levels of radiation. Why did aliens attack two innocent women? And how did a squadron of military helicopters appear out of nowhere in the nick of time? Was the government already aware of UFO activity? And why did they not warn the public? A series of deadly events from six years earlier suggests they did. Unsealed case file, the Corpus Christi object. August 24th, 
1974. U.S. Air Defense Radar detects a UFO speeding northwest from the Gulf of Mexico toward Corpus Christi at an impossible speed of 2,500 miles per hour. At the same time, a small passenger plane takes off from El Paso, bound for Mexico City. For unknown reasons, the UFO suddenly changes course and collides with the plane over Coyame, Mexico. U.S. military locate the wreckage of the plane, but the UFO is nowhere to be found. Nearby, the responders also discover a Mexican army jeep with the lifeless bodies of four Mexican soldiers inside. There are no signs of trauma. They do not appear to have fired their weapons. Official cause of death? Asphyxiation. The proximity of the Dayton and Corpus Christi locations is alarming. Just outside Corpus Christi is the Naval Air Station, Trove Field. Dayton is part of Metropolitan Houston, which is also home to mission control for NASA's space shuttle flights. Could the military and space exploration facilities be attracting UFOs? At the time of the Dayton incident in 1980, NASA was preparing to launch the first space shuttle. Some experts believe extraterrestrials are trying to send a message that would bring an abrupt halt to any further space exploration. Marie Chatelain, who was director of NASA communications, became famous in UFO circles because he was the first NASA insider to talk publicly about UFOs and say NASA knew about the presence of UFOs. It was NASA's most closely held secret and Marie Chatelain was right over. Coming up, we reveal another UFO hotspot where 12,000 sightings have been recorded over the past 60 years, including violent alien attacks on unsealed alien files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. America is riddled with UFO hotspots, but it isn't the only nation experiencing this phenomenon. In 2008, the British government declassified decades of eyewitness accounts of UFOs. The sheer volume of information was overwhelming. From the 1950s to the termination of the British government's UFO project, around 12,000 UFO sightings were investigated. Nick Pope is a former official with the British government's UFO desk, a department dedicated to the investigation of UFO sightings. These incidents date from World War II to modern day. Many of these UFO encounters are unpredictable and dangerously close calls. The Civil Aviation Authority and the Ministry of Defense have on their case files several instances where there were near collisions between UFOs and commercial aircraft. In one instance, the pilot had time only to shout, look out, look out, before the UFO rapidly passed. Fortunately, there wasn't a collision, and the UFO narrowly missed the aircraft. There were perhaps half a dozen or a dozen cases of near collision between UFOs and commercial aircraft. These incidents bear an uncanny resemblance to the Corpus Christi collision. But Britain's hotspot similarities with Texas go far beyond near misses in the air. Here, too, aliens target military bases, posing a serious threat to national security. One event in particular has achieved legendary status among British UFO investigators, the Rendlesham Forest incident. Over a series of nights in December 1980, United States Air Force personnel based at Bentwaters and Woodbridge in the United Kingdom saw UFOs. On the first night of activity, numerous witnesses, including John Burroughs and Jim Penniston, saw strange lights in the forest, uh, which were unlike anything they'd seen before. The two airmen set out to investigate. They discover the flashing lights are emanating from a large, triangular-shaped UFO resting on the forest floor. 
Jim Penniston approached the UFO and at one point actually touched the side of the craft. He's described how this touching of the craft led to some effect where he was jolted and received what he can only really describe as some sort of telepathic download. Later, he felt a compulsion to write in his police notebook pages and pages of ones and zeros. These ones and zeros have been theorized to be binary code, and many people speculate that this is a message of some sort. There's huge controversy about the binary code and the Rendlesham message, and indeed, there's a lot of discussion and debate about whether this is a message, and if it is, what this message says, what it all means. Decoding the message may reveal why aliens are targeting hotspots like Britain and Texas. It may be that further revelations are yet to come. Not everything that I've seen has yet seen the light of day. There may be some revelations that will be made in the future. There may be some things that will never be released. Coming up, we investigate the next frontier of alien hotspots and learn if it might, in fact, be the last. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Both the US and the UK are inundated with intense UFO activity. Many of these hotspots occur near military installations, but what are these alien reconnaissance missions for? The answer may lie on the opposite side of the planet, inside the world's rising superpower, the People's Republic of China. Hangzhou, July 7th, 2010. Thousands watch in stunned disbelief as a flaming UFO streaks across the night sky over the eastern city. Many capture vivid images of the object. Authorities immediately close Xiaoshan International Airport, thrusting the story into the worldwide media spotlight. The government pledges to launch a full investigation into the incident. Ultimately, the findings are never disclosed to the public. Only a week later, a second mass UFO sighting occurs in the southwestern city of Chongqing. Local residents are terrified. Renowned Chinese astronomer Wang Xichao has been studying UFO sightings in China for nearly 40 years. He believes UFO activity in China will only continue to increase. And according to a recent public statement, he doesn't rule out the possibility that the aliens might be hostile. If they are friendly to us, we can promote the human being civilization through exchange and cooperation with them. If they are not, as long as we prepared for their invasion, we can beat them back based on their weaknesses. After all, they are life entities. Are aliens surveying these places in preparation for a massive invasion? If so, is humanity even capable of defending itself against sudden attack? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.